y'all been there? Longer than I thought, huh? You caught me singing a song by this wonderful person named Bob Marley. He comes from the Caribbean islands, more specifically Jamaica. And today we are going to be learning about the music of the Caribbean or the Caribbean. Which is it? Caribbean? 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 Caribbean. Anyway, we're learning about that type of music today, learning a little bit about reggae music today, and we're going to learn about some fun reggae chords. So, enjoy the view of the Bahama Islands here behind us, and let's get started with today's awesome lesson. Well, I still haven't figured out if it's Caribbean or Caribbean, but that fact is not important right now. What is important is that the Caribbean is the name given to a large collection of islands located off the coast of Central and South America. So some fun things I want to remind you about this slide is that, did you know Bob Marley was born in Jamaica? Yep, that's where he was born, born in Jamaica. Some questions I have for you. Well, one question. What genre of music does Bob Marley write? What genre of music does Bob Marley write? He writes, I'm not going to tell you yet because you're going to learn about it later. So keep watching and see if you can find out the answer to my question. All right, let's take a look at the map here and see where the country or the island of Jamaica is located. We're going to type in the name there and click on it. And it's going to show us the island of Jamaica. Here we go. If we zoom out just a tad, and then it loads, we can see some other islands around here. The Dominican Republic, Haiti, to the east, out to the west, the Cayman Islands, to the north, Cuba, or Cuba, and even further there's the Bahamas and Miami, Florida, part of the United States there. And then down here to the southwest, we have a whole other bunch of countries from Central America. And even further out, Mexico and America del Sur, South America here. So, let's learn a little bit about this basic chord structure for most songs in the genre of reggae. Now, much like the 12 bar blues where there are 12 measures and 3 chords, we also are going to use 12 measures here and 3 chords. In today's example, our chords are going to be G minor, D minor, and C minor. The 1 chord, the 4 chord, and the 5 chord. Here are the top 10 instruments known for reggae music. The drum, the keyboard, the bongo, the organ, the piano, the bass guitar, the clavinet, the horns, all the percussion instruments, and the guitar. Everything about reggae has to do with the rhythm, or the rhythm. 
one can clearly differentiate a reggae tuner song from any other song because of those specific rhythms and those specific patterns. The bass guitar plays the most important role in holding down the rhythm in reggae. Most reggae bass parts are just the repeated beats. We cannot learn about music of the Caribbean without talking about some of the instruments that are most popular in the Caribbean music as well. So, let's touch on those. The first one is the buleador. It's the most recognizable drum in Caribbean music. It's believed to have African origins. Another very popular instrument that you even heard at the beginning of this lesson was the steel drums. Steel drums are another variety of drum that is very important in the Caribbean and they represent the culture worldwide. These drums were originally made out of steel barrels but then in the early 20th century in Trinidad they were created with hand drums as well as other types of metal to produce the popular steel drums that we know of today. Another one, the maracas are a type of instrument, percussion, something that we can hit, shake, or scrape. That's right, we shake those maracas. They are originally made from gourds, but now they are made from other materials that make them more portable and more durable. The guitar is also very important in Caribbean music, not only the regular guitar, the string guitar, but the bass guitar as well that carries over to reggae music that helps us keep that steady pulse and beat. The wiro is another popular Caribbean instrument. It looks like a big loaf of bread and you run the stick up and down it with the sides. It has African origins as well, but it's, it was adopted again by many cultures, such as the Spanish music that we've learned about before. Last but not least, we're going to look at the palitos, which is another important instrument. They're also known as claves, two little sticks of wood that are tapped together to help us maintain that steady beat. All right, before we dive into our first folk song, we've got to review meter, time signature, and review our Takadimi syllables that we're going to use today. So previously, most of our songs have been in a simple meter in groups of two, three, or four. Today's song that we're working with is in a compound meter that have the dotted note as the beat. More specifically, today's compound meter is in six, eight. So thinking back to our time signature lesson, the top number tells us that there are six beats in the measure, and the bottom number tells us that the eighth note gets one beat. So, the two notes that we're going to see in our song today are the dotted quarter note, which is three beats together, one eighth note, one eighth note, one eighth note, half plus half plus half, one and a half beats, as well as a group of eighth notes that look like this, and the syllable is going to be ta, ki, da. Again, ta, ki, da. All right? So now that we've reviewed our beats and our divisions, let's go take a look at our song and let's read the Takadimi syllables together. Again, notice we have those groupings of eighth notes here and our dotted quarter notes here. So let's start. The beat that I'm going to tap is that dotted steady pulse. Here we go. Taki da, taki da, taki da, ta. Ta, ta, ta. Ta, ta, ki, da, ta, ki, da, ta, ki, da, ta, di, ta, di, ta, ta. All right, so I think I made a little mistake on this last rhythm here, so we're going to review that together again. Remember that this is ta for three beats, and we also start again here with another ta, but because there's no middle eighth note, we're going to skip the key and go right to the da. So let's try that part again. Ta, ta. Da, ta. There we go. So we'll get that right in our song as well. Also, you notice that there is something here called call and response. We learned about that in our lesson on pentatonics, where that is the form of the song. One person has the call, the leader, and the other person, you guys as the group, and the class will have our response. So be sure that once we've learned the entire song, that you follow along with your part and you sing the response. It got a little dark in here, so I had to take off my sunglasses, put on my real glasses, so I could see what's going on. All right, so our first song, Johnny Grotto, is a folk song from Trinidad and Tobago. You will see a map of where that is located somewhere over here, maybe over here. Who knows? You'll see the map. 
Anyway, let's get along and practice the text. I'll say it first, and when my hands are pointing at you, it's your turn to copy me. All right, here we go. Johnny Grotto was a fisherman's son. Yeah, 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 yeah. Johnny Grotto was a fisherman's son a long time ago. Great job. Now, we're going to practice the text with me being the call and you being response. This time you won't see any lyrics except for your part in the response. Ready? Two. Here we go. Johnny Grotto was a fisherman's son. Johnny Grotto was a fisherman's son. Great. I heard all of you out there use now. Let's get along with the melody. You'll hear it once and then we'll play it again so that you can sing along with the recording. Here are your two responses. After the first line, Johnny Grotto was a fisherman's son. Your response is, yeah, 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 yeah. And after the second line, Johnny Grotto was a fisherman's son. Your response, a long time ago. Now you're ready for our song. Johnny Grotto was a fisherman's son. 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 Peanut butter jelly time. All right, guys. I've got one more fun song from you. This is a folk song from the country of Jamaica. If you or your parents have ever watched the movie Beetlejuice, you may have heard this song in that movie. Or if you've been in any of my classes for the past six years, we have done this song on Boomwhackers, and it's super fun. This song is called Do the Banana Boat Song. So, in this one, we're also going to be practicing a call and response. And here, I'm just going to teach you what your response is going to be. It is very simple, very short, and very quick to get in your brain. So, no matter what I say, no matter what I do, your response is always the same. And here is your response. Daylight, come and I want to go home. Try it. Awesome. So, if I say... Day-o, day-o, you say daylight, come and I want to go home. If I say the next line, come Mr. Tallyman, tally me banana, you still say daylight, come and me one go home. Got it? Cool.
girls and boys, I have a joke for you today. What did the hamburger name its baby? I don't know. What did the hamburger name its baby? A patty. <laughs> a, a patty, like a like a hamburger patty. <laughs> Good boy.